It was their turn to receive gifts from their partner, Brookside Dairy, as the company recognized them for good meal quantities and quality. Speaking during this event, Keringit Pharma Self-Help Group thanked the company for providing them with a market for their milk and ensuring they get their pay on time. On his part, Brookside Director of Production and Mechanization John Gethy hailed the farmers following the opening of their new cooling plant that will go a long way in aiding milk preservation. We've just started the quality milk payment system which has seen uh, Kuresoi benefit big time because of its butterfat content because we pay according to uh, various parameters, butterfat being one of them, uh, added water being another, and um, uh, d density being, being another. And also, more importantly, um, the absence, and I, I want to reiterate, the absence of antibiotics. He further noted that the cooperation between the company and farmers has increased, promising them timely payments, better collaboration and incentives incubation. It was an initiative that uh, started um, just after COVID had started and then we reinforced it again in the, on the 1st of uh, se September where we basically uh, informed the farmers that we will be paying up to 42 shillings a kilo. Unfortunately, because of COVID, we had to scale down on a lot of the training that we had scheduled for the year because the farmers too were to benefit from this training. During the event, Keringet Dairy Self-Help Group was rewarded with a 1.6 million shillings check, while Soitaran Dairy was awarded 900,000 shillings as part of the campaign that is expected to run across the country. Dairy farming has grown tremendously in Kenya and youths have been urged to take up this kind of farming so that they can be financially stable. Reporting for K24 Business, my name is Kigo Domoyengi.